Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Now, if this is your first visit, I'd, I'd, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. We are set up right now at Stephen F. Austin State Park. This is on the banks of the Brazos River, just west of Houston, Texas. But we're done here. I mean, it's hard to believe that we're done here. This place is just so incredibly gorgeous. I mean, just, just look, look at this. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> That's, that's my front yard. How cool is that? But we're done. So we're going to head on down the Brazos River and pay a visit to Brazos Bend State Park. It looks to be another good old Texas State Park too. So let's get on the road and go do a deep dive into Brazos Bend State Park. Let's go. Well, we made it. That little one and a half hour drive turned into two hours plus. So we're running, uh, as usual, we're off the original schedule that I had laid out. What you don't know is that Yappy, uh, on the day of our, first day of our journey, she stepped off a, a step and twisted her ankle really bad. Possibly popped a tendon. Uh, so she's kind of been laid up and in pain and she toughed it out for two days. We we're supposed to be three days at each one of these state parks. Three days at Stephen F. Austin, three days at Brazos Bend. But we're having to abbreviate our journey. So we, we cut both park stays down to two days each so that I can do what I do. So that means we had to make reservations again last night for for here we're at brazos bend and originally we were going to be in that site right there underneath that big old tree that wasn't available for tonight and so i picked the next site down with no trees and it was so unlevel I, I, there was no way i could get the rv level so we went back up to the office and we ended up with site number 233, which is a, a handicap site. So it's extremely flat, asphalt pad, 30 and water. And water. So we had a big heavy rainstorm last night down in this part of Texas. But I mean, except for the proximity to the road, but the fortunately the, the site faces the right way. You know, we, we kind of get to look at the other neighbor over there, but that's all right. At least we're level and flat, and man, oh man, look at this front porch. We have a wheelchair accessible picnic table, a fire ring, and a charcoal cooker. What is missing? I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't, I don't have a lantern hook. The ubiquitous lantern hook is not here. <sighs> Tragedy of tragedies. All right, so I'm gonna gear up and hop on a little red. And let's, we'll go see some stuff here at Brazzles Bend State Park. So stay tuned, more to come. Well, it looks as if Brazzles Bend State Park would be a really great place to have a family reunion. You can't really see because I'm right up here on the front porch, but this is called the Group Dining Hall. So that would be an, an air-conditioned place for a group of people to gather. 
Got a great big old barbecue cooker, an offset smoker over there. It's cool the way that one's built. Looks like there's a kitchen indoors too. All right. Well, let's let's go see some more stuff. Brazos Bend State Park. They actually have cabins for your pleasure. So you don't have to worry about sleeping on the cold, hard ground, and you don't have to worry about needing an RV. They have air conditioner, ca air conditioned cabins. Of course, they're locked, so we can't can't see what's inside. But they have a bunch of them. Let's go see some more stuff. Depending on where you're coming from, Brazos Bend State Park can be a bit of a drive. And if you're transporting children with you, somewhere along the way, they're gonna ask that question that you always dread to hear. Are we there yet? So when, they get, when you get here, they're gonna be ready to run and be crazy. Fortunately, there's a fantastic little playground here for your, your little ones to burn off all of that pent up energy. They even got a lookout tower. But that's not all. Let's go see some more stuff. And there's a lot to see here. It's a big park. Check this out. This is Hale Lake, the fishing pier. Look how far down in the water that is. One-handed, gotta be careful. Such a beautiful place. There's fish jumping. It's a pretty day for fishing, but I got a video to shoot, so let's go see some more stuff. Brazzles Bend State Park. This is the Hale Lake day use area. Look at this. Oh my God. How beautiful is this? Wow. Let's go see some more stuff. Brazzles Bend State Park. I'm in the Elm Lake day use area. So I presume this is Elm Lake. And then we have an observation point up here. Kind of waiting for the crowd to thin out. Never seen one like that. Hey right, man, it gets you where you want to go. Yeah, like especially it. if your feet don't work so good. Yep. Go check out the observation deck. I didn't see any alligators. Okay, so this is a really cool park. Wow! Look at that tree! There's actually three of them right here together. Big, huge oak trees. This is, I, I think this is the nature center, but I don't know if they're open. 
we'll go see if, if they're open. So the Nature Center at Brazzles Bend State Park is only open Friday through Sunday. They are not open on Tuesday, which is what it is today. All right, let's go see the observatory. So at Brazzles Bend State Park, the Houston Museum of Natural Science has an observatory. It is open to the public every Saturday, 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Good to know. There's actually a great big parking lot by the Nature Center. Got to see this nature trail. I'm going to do a full, a dedicated video for this, this nature trail. But for this video, I want to show you. This is the Creekfield Lake nature trail. It goes all the way around Creekfield Lake. So we'll come back tomorrow, or maybe later today, depending on battery pack. And I'll do a, create a full video, I'll create a video just of this trail. It is, it is ADA accessible, but it's kind of rough. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Brazzles Bend State Park. Here at the 40 acre lake day use area. Check this out, they got a nice fishing pier. Maybe you can catch some alligators. Big bump. How cool is that? There's an observation tower that we got to figure out how to get to. Stay tuned, more to come. Brazzles Bend State Park. Well, they have a sign at the front so showing alligators. Well, there's us on alligator. That's just for you, Tom. Let's go see some more stuff. We made it to the observation tower. Brazzles Bend State Park. There's no elevator. So if I want to see it, I got to climb some steps. Oh, check that out. September 17. 52 feet above sea level. January 92, 51. Wow. All right. This one's for y'all. I'm on a I'm gonna give it a go. Well, I made it. Not exactly handicap friendly, <laughs> but we're at the top of the tower. What a commanding view. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Brazos, Brazos Bend State Park, up here at the headquarters. 
when I rolled in, I saw this this tree that was roped off and people standing here taking photograph taking pictures but I couldn't tell I didn't know what it was all about but I was just informed that there's actually two baby great horned owls in the fork of the tree so here's the video footage I got with the the galaxy phone but they're just in time to see one of them moving all right oh now that's pretty cool not every day you get to see a great horned owl all right, let's go see some more stuff. Brazos Bend State Park. This is a big park. Uh, that was that was a, a long scooter excursion. Now comes the relaxing time. I'll cut back in tomorrow uh, with more stuff. I got more planned for tomorrow, so stay tuned. Enjoy this time lapse that I've put together in an artistic fashion. Brazos Bend State Park. It's a gray, dreary day, but we're gonna. I'm gonna jump on Little Red. Go see if we can find some some Little Red accessible trails. We've got rain in the forecast for this afternoon, so let's cross the fingers and see what we can go find. Well, there's, there's something to be said for being in the state park on Wednesday when it's overcast and dreary. There's no one here. <laughs> the downside of being here when it's dreary and overcast is there's not too many places where I can take the little red scooter because it's every, everything is muddy. Brazos Bend State Park. Here we are. Hey, David Hall, I want to give you a shout out, man. I appreciate you coming to say hi and visit with me a little bit while I'm down in your part of the country. For the rest of y'all, you really need to come pay a visit to Brazos Bend State Park. This is one really unique Texas State Park. And actually, I think it's going to be in my top five. Uh, it's just so beautiful. We, I didn't have near enough time here. But you know, Yappy's Yappy's got the ankle thing. We gotta we gotta get back and find her somebody to take a look at that and make sure nothing is actually broken. And I'm gonna 
hopefully have an opportunity to visit another Texas State Park on the way back north. So, and to recap, Brazos Bend is definitely a destination. A little bit too far out of the way to be considered a waypoint. But there's a lot going on here, and if you got kiddos, they're really going to enjoy this because there are alligators. <laughs> Although I only saw the one small one, I have it on good authority, David Hall, that there's bigger ones here. And if you and if you're here when the sun is shining, you've got a better opportunity to see them. But they are here no matter what time of the year. So Brazos Bend State Park, plan on coming down here and seeing this one. I have to come back. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so deeply honored. And for the for my patrons, really, uh, that that's truly an honor. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?